Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'll be showing uh, the basic use of Web Service Consumer Connector in Mule 4. So before we begin, the any point connector for Web Service Connector, like which is known as the Web Service Consumer Connector, consumes a SOAP web service from Mule application to acquire data from an external source. Suppose that we are getting some sort of uh, data from an external source or the client has a company wherein they are trying to give uh, the data from their end. So that is where we put a consume component in action, wherein we try to consume the external data into our Mule application. So in many cases, you can use any point connector for uh, workday connector or any point connector for service now connector or to connect to a service provider. However, uh, when no connector is available as of such, uh, we can just use the normal uh, web service consume connector which is published in the exchange uh, if in case you uh, you people are not able to find the consume connector so uh, for that you have to uh, click on exchange search in exchange then just search for uh, consume okay okay you can see something as web service consumer double click on that click on add then click on finish so after that uh, you can see this connector into your uh, project so basically uh, the web service consumer connector is something which helps us to get data from external source so now let me show the practical aspect of how it works so here in this project uh, let us assume that we are triggering the data to be fetched in a specific uh, time interval so hence that is the use of a schedule component here instead of a request uh, HTTP listener component here so what this uh, scheduler component will do is that uh, at a certain intervals of um, time uh, like the scheduling strategy here, strategy here is the fric uh, fixed frequency so the frequency here is like 1000 uh, milliseconds okay for every 1000 milliseconds it will trigger uh, the flow we need not hit the request uh, uh, as of then so what the scheduler will do is it automatically invokes the flow uh, at the specified in time interval so the set variable uh, we have kept the name as variable sample and the value to be as test okay now uh, in the transform message component here is where the actual uh, logic takes place so the output application is like a slash xml format you can keep it as a json format also it's up to you uh, and here is the sample uh, no, SOAP API uh, URL like HTTP SOAP uh, service or SOAP or service mule org and uh, here is what uh, the transformation which has to take place you can write the code uh, based on your requirements and uh, <clears throat> in the web service consume co connector uh, in the basic settings this will be uh, containing the web service consumer config so and the general operation would be attach operation and uh, in the con web service consumer config so here i have just uh, put the da demo uh, web so uh, web service values like the soap version and uh, you also get various Versions like SOAP 11, SOAP 12 based on your project, and then um, WDSL location, service, port, address. You will uh, get this all from uh, the project and just click on OK. Okay, then this is, flow. This is how the uh, project is. Every uh, 1000 milliseconds, the uh, flow would be triggered, and the data from the external client would be consumed into the Mule application. So this is the basic use of uh, web service consume connector. 